Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. Guys, smash the like button on this video. So, guys, um, David Benavidez uh, has come out and said that, you know, a, a fight uh, between him and Caleb Plant is going to happen uh, March, uh, early March. I think Caleb Plant also echoed the same thing. Uh, I'm very, very excited about this fight. I, I genuinely am. I think I, I think it's a great fight, firstly. I think it's a fight that, you know, you've got to respect both guys putting it on the line. It's Caleb Plant coming off a defeat against Canelo. I think you've got to respect him a lot because I don't think, you know, going into such a risky fight, you could have milked it next couple of fights after, you know, uh, developing his name or, you know, building his profile after the Canelo fight. But you know what? He wants to go straight into big fights. So you've got to respect him. And David Benavidez has always felt like a guy that wanted to test himself against the best and he's got an opportunity to fight one of the best super middleweights in the world and I think this is a great fight I think they don't like each other I think it makes for a good fight stylistically I think Benavidez is a lot slower than Plant Plant's probably the more uh athletically gifted uh, uh faster feet uh naturally probably the better boxer out of the two but you know David Benavidez is a freak in the sense that he's tall he's lanky he's fast he's got very fast hands he's powerful obviously and and is he gonna grind and wear Caleb Plant down he's a lot bigger than uh, you know everyone else he's he, like not the same and not as skillful but you know a bit like Tyson Fury where he's just bigger than everybody else and he grinds you down and beats you up and wears you down is he gonna do the same thing to uh Caleb Plant possibly you know there is a there is a strong chance of him doing that because he is a very very big guy he is a fast guy so yeah I'm, I'm really intrigued to see how how he gets on I'm really intrigued to see how how he gets on with um 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 K uh, Caleb uh is Caleb going to be able to you know withstand the pressure is Caleb going to be able to get you know get through what he need get through the fight because I think you know Caleb Plant is also somebody that is known to having stamina issues later on in the fight so it, for me this is a very very interesting fight and a fight that I think could potentially go either way and I do and I think a lot of people are going to favor uh, David Benavidez but I'm not so sure I think Caleb Plant is a very very skilled boxer uh, I saw him against Canelo who I think is a better boxer than David Benavidez so I, I think this is a very very tough fight I think a lot of the Canelo haters want Caleb Plant to get iced in this fight just so they can say that Caleb Plant was never no good uh, but I think they're going to be very surprised and they're going to be licking, they're going to be you know eating their words when Caleb Plant gives David Benavidez a lot of trouble and potentially even beat him Yes, I said it, potentially even beat him. Um, I think there's a very strong possibility. Like I said, I think there's a lot of deficiency in, in David Benavidez's game. And Caleb is going to take advantage of that. Caleb is going to take advantage of that, for sure. Uh, I think some of you guys are overhyping David Benavidez. And I think... I think I think you guys are overhyping Charlo. I think you guys are overhyping um, uh, what's his name, Andrade, just because you think Canelo's avoiding those guys. When Canelo gets in the ring with him and and he batters some of them, I mean, then I think you might realize that you know the guys that you've been pumping up all that time were never that good. Like if you put David Benavidez in the ring with Callum Smith, he ain't stopping Callum Smith. I'm telling you that now. Callum Smith is tough as anything. I don't even think Callum Smith has ever been down in his career. And and I, I I don't see David Benavidez. I, if anything, I think De Callum Smith is the more shrewd boxer. I think he's the more technically sound fighter. Uh, and I think when Callum Smith fights somebody top at light heavyweight, you'll realize. Now I don't expect him to beat Bivol or Baterbiev, but I I expect him to give him a good fight. I expect him to give as good a fight as what Charlo Andrade or uh, or Benavidez would give um, Baterbiev or Bivol. So for me personally, I think um, I think we're gonna find out how good you know, David Benavidez is because I actually think Caleb Plant is going to give him a lot of trouble. But again, what do I know about boxing? As South Central, uh, one of my subscribers and one of, one of the guys that comes on slates me a lot says that, you know, Imran, you're a casual. You know, you, you're saying that he goes, Benavidez is going to destroy. See, the, the thing is, when you say that, you're talking from a place of of that's what you want to see happen. So you're trying to wish that into existence. When I say something, I'm not saying it because I'm a Canelo fan or anything. I don't really care. If Benavidez beats him. Benavidez, if I if I think, like I even said to you, I think Andrade would beat uh, Billy Joe. I, I, I said that and I thought Andrade would beat Billy Joe because I think Andrade's, I think Andrade would be a lot bigger, str stronger, faster. I think he would beat Billy Joe. Genuinely, I think he beats Billy Joe. Uh, and the best version, I even I even picked Andre to beat Billy Joe when they were supposed to fight. Uh, I thought Andre would win that fight. But, you know, I still think Canelo beats Andre. I still think, I don't think Andre is as good as what some of his fans think he is. Uh, you know, Dan Sosa, you said today that Imran, uh, Andre, you know, 
this, that and the other. He criticised... The, the, the problem is, it's not about criticising Canelo or criticising this, that, the other and people avoiding Andre. The fact of the matter is, is that Canelo's had big fights. Canelo's been in, in, in big major fights. Canelo's fought good fighters. You know, Andre hasn't fought many good... Or any good fighters, you could say, or any elite fighters or any top names. Or I mean, he's fought nobody. Now, we, we can go around and around in circles that, oh, he's not a big name, he's not a big star. There's been many guys in Andre's position that have got big fights that weren't a big name, that didn't weren't really favoured by the system, that have got big fights. I just don't think a guy that's been at world-class level for 10 years has not had opportunities to fight big names. The problem is with Andre, he seems like a guy, and I've seen this from just the recent negotiations, that Andre comes across as a guy that he wants everything his way. You know, there's a saying that beggars can't be choosers, and I'm not saying Andre's a beggar, because Andre's in a, in terms of boxing terms right now, you'd probably say he is. But in terms of, obviously, you know, uh, Andre's not a beggar. I mean, this is a guy that's probably a multimillionaire. So he's by no means a beggar. But the point I'm trying to make is in the situation that he was in, in, in boxing, uh, from a boxing point of view, he wasn't really in a position to dictate, you know, who he can fight. And this is a guy that tries to act like, you know, he wants more money. He didn't want that. He didn't want that fight because it was paying him three, four hundred grand. What you can't have it both ways. You can't say, well, Andre is not a big star, uh, so he can't get the cherry picks that Canelo can, and then at the same time say, well, you know, uh, Andre was getting offered three, four hundred grand to fight this X, Y, Z. I mean, you can't have it both ways. You know, if you're not a star and you're not a big name, then you fight for less money and prove your worth, and then go and get the bigger fights. You don't try to pick and choose like you're a superstar. You know, Canelo can pick and choose because Canelo's he's filthy rich. Uh, he gets thirty, twenty five, thirty million fight for per fight so Canelo can afford to pick and choose because Canelo's in that position Andre's not so Andre's has got to put himself in position where he's earning a shot now people may say yeah you know he was apparently moving up to fight Zach Parker because he would become mandatory for Canelo but then uh, the money was not great so I mean he wants everything his way when he's not in a position to have everything his way that that's what I find staggering about Andre and that's probably because of the result because he, of him being with Eddie Hearn, him being overpaid, being paid more than what his value was really when we think about it. Andre got paid more money than his value and his fans might not like that, but he did. Andre's not, Andre probably shouldn't, should be getting what, maybe one mil, 755, 50,000, something like that. You know, bearing in mind what he's bringing in, bringing from a value point of view. Um, a lot of people say, well, Canelo got offered 40 million to fight Demetrius Andre and he turned it down. Canelo gets that kind of money all the time. I mean, Canelo's not, Canelo's in a position where he's going to get that kind of money. And see, for Andre, that would be Andre's highest payday. It wouldn't be his, uh, Canelo's highest payday. And uh, coming back to David Benavides and, and, uh, and um, what's his name? Um, Caleb Plant. For me, these two guys are, are guys that are willing to fight the best. They're willing to, they're willing to do it. I, I have my doubts about Andre now because I feel like Andre has been around for so long. And what are we missing what, what it's got to the point where I can't keep believing a guy that you know is saying that for ten years nobody wants to fight him and he's being avoided. You know I feel like that's just smells. It doesn't it doesn't seem right to me. You know I, I have to put two and two together. And when we put two and two together, I mean it just seems like Andre probably, you know, something's not right. Something doesn't add up. But yeah, I like the Caleb Plant David Benavidez fight. I really hope this is a this this is I think this is going to be a great fight. I think I I personally favor. Uh, Caleb by a slight margin I won't be surprised if Benavidez wins I think it's a great fight 50-50 fight but yeah leave your thoughts guys let me know what you think in the comment section below also uh, David Benavidez Sr. said that you know they're going to end um, Caleb Plant's career let's see if they can let's see if they do end his career what do you guys think do you think Caleb Plant there is a lot of animosity here you know their father doesn't like uh, Caleb uh, Caleb doesn't like them there's, there's a lot of animosity between the two camps so this is going to be very spicy when it is officially announced when they get into the press conferences this is going to be very very spicy between these two and I, I can't wait to be honest with you, I can't wait because I think it's going to be epic. I think it's going to be great. I think it's, I think it's going to be exciting. So yeah, I, I, to be honest with you, I can't wait for it. I, I generally can't wait for it, and and I'm pretty sure a lot of you can't wait for it either. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to what uh, how this all plays out. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about what you know the, the comments being made and what do you make of the Android situation, the Caleb Plant and uh, Caleb Plant and Benavidez situation. I can't wait. To be honest with you, I, I can't wait. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, I think it's going to be a great build up to the fight. Uh, and then I think the winner can go on to bigger, better things. And I think the winner might even get a Canelo fight. So this is a great incentive for David Benavidez. If he wins this fight, 
he goes on to fight uh, probably Canelo Alvarez. So that's the incentive, in my opinion, for the for the winner. I, I think the Caleb Plant fight probably doesn't hold that much value if Caleb was to win, um, because I, we've already seen that fight. But if, if Benavidez win, it's a fight definitely he's earned against Canelo. So yeah, leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.